today my assignment is to bless those that have living mother. If your mother is living, you ought to give her blessing. Hey, glory to God. Don't wait until she die to give her flowers or say, oh, mother, I miss you. My friends, a blessing to have a living mother. So 10 things why you should honor your living mother now, not just on Mother's Day. Yes, 10 reasons why you should honor your living mother now, not just on Mother's Day. I wish my mother was living. Hey, glory to God. John 19, chapter, verse 25 through 27. Read, now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples, whom he lo loved, standing by, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciples, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciples took her on to, took her to his own house. Let me read verse 27. Then he said to his, his disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own house. Ten reasons why you should honor your living mother now, not just on Mother's Day. Number one, give her flowers now so she can smell them. Give her flowers now so she can smell them. Number two, Give flowers on the casket. Glory to God, while she's dead, can't smell them. So don't give a cask, don't give a flowers on a casket, even though give her flowers on a casket, but don't give a, 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 a flowers on a casket then because she can't smell it. So give her flowers now while she's in the living. Number three, give her cash to treat herself. She's not working. What? Give her cash. Glory to God. Why? Why? Because she's not working? Because she's on a fixed income. Glory to God. Number four, give her clothes. It's a shame if hoes have shown in public. Hey, glory to God. Give her some clothes. It's a shame I have uh, if there's hole shown publicly. Fifth thing, give her candle. Light meal saying how much you care for her. Now, this is 10 C's, my friend. The first one, glory to God, hallelujah, so she can smell it. Glory to God, not to put on a casket, give her cash, give her clothes, give her candle, and give her credit for doing the best job of taking care of you. She did not bought you. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And number seven thing, give her a call daily. Not just once a month or once a year or on special occasion. So give her a call daily in the morning saying how much you care for her. And thank you, mom, for taking care of me. Hallelujah. And number eight, give her, hallelujah, give her her, her, her castle, meaning Pay her house note with her. Help her pay her, ca her her house note. Yes. Give her, right, with her castle, meaning help pay her car or house note. Hey, go to God. Call your mother. Go to God. She is a blessing to you while she's living. I wish my mom was still here. Hey, go to God. So I, I follow the principle, what I'm saying. Hey, go to God. I gave her flowers on, on, on special occasion, but I, which I shouldn't. I should give her flower every day. Oh, go to God. So she can smell it. I should give her cash. I should give her candlelight dinner. I should help her with a, with a house note. All these things are very important because your mother, go you can't pay back your mother. So you can pay her a little bit of saying how you appreciate her service and appreciate her of taking care of God's children. Hey, glory to God. And I'm a knife reason. Give her a collection of thoughts to give her the best life being a senior citizen. And I'm a tenth reason. And I thank you for watching. Keep her company in church while she in the land of the living while she's alive. 
Now, these are the 10 reasons why you should honor your living mother now, not just on Mother's Day. Until then, may God bless you for life journey, church. Hey, glory to God. God bless you for living a wonderful life, being saved. God bless.